Hey everybody, Josh Hertz in a World Alternative Media here at Deshur at the Red Pyramid. And the evidence of ancient cataclysm and ancient technology, especially acoustic technology, is abundant here at this site. So don't go anywhere, you won't want to miss this video. This is, what a crazy site. I'm on my way to Dashur, on the outskirts of Giza, Egypt, one of the least documented pyramid complexes in Egypt due to it being behind military fences for decades. It was only recently open to the public. It's Christmas Day 2020 and tourism is essentially dead in Egypt. Throughout November and December of 2020, we had unprecedented access to countless ancient megalithic locations throughout Egypt. This day is no different. We have the pyramids of Dashur to ourselves. The Red Pyramid of Dashur, also known as the Pyramid of Sneferu, is a beautifully built vibrational energy machine. <clears throat> I mean, tomb. Of course, like the other major pyramids in Egypt, there is no evidence of the Red Pyramid being a tomb. There is, however, abundant evidence of it being some sort of machine that we today simply cannot figure out. The perfect construction of the Red Pyramid on the inside throughout the chambers is astonishing. Many claim that the Red, Bent, and Black Pyramid at Dashur were test pyramids for Giza, an absolutely absurd claim considering the incredible size and the level of effort put into them. To spend possibly centuries to test out your pyramid building only to build them as a tomb, yet forget to put any funerary paintings on the walls of these so-called tombs, which was customary in dynastic Egypt, is laughable. This was not a test. This was a functional machine, which you are about to see as we climb throughout the pyramid. All right, we are going to go inside the Red Pyramid. This should be interesting. I wasn't expecting to go inside the Red Pyramid today, but uh, we're here at Dashur. We're going to the Bent Pyramid. We figured might as well check this out while we're at it. <laughs> Strange Christmas day. It's quite strange here at the Red Pyramid as the outer layer of the pyramid just seemed to have been pulverized at some point. All that's left of the outer casing stones is essentially dust. The inner casing stones are obviously still there, but they're just covered in a coating of sand which flows in from the desert and what literally looks like just pulverized limestone. Far in the distance you can see um, the Step Pyramid Jojer at Saqqara. Every pyramid uh, along the Nile, you can kind of see from the previous one down the Nile, which is a very interesting situation. All right, so I have entered the Red Pyramid, and I would say this is almost maybe three and a half feet at the most, and if we look down the tunnel here, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This once did not have stairs. So does it look like something that was functional for a human being? You would have just slid all the way down. It was just straight 
flat all the way down. Does this look like something that would have been a tomb? Or would it have been, I don't know, functional perhaps? <laughs> you guys decide. This haunted old pyramid smells like bat urine. <laughs> First takeaway. <laughs> Give people an idea. There's Stevie trying to get down. It's a little tight. I'm just imagining former or ancient grave robbers going down here when there weren't stairs and getting stuck because they would have just slipped all the way down trying to get back up. <laughs> you gotta imagine it would have been a scary experience going down here without a railing, lights, or stairs. We have really well cut stone here and we are entering into the alleged tomb. I'm already hearing crazy echoing. And it looks so weird going from there and then just kind of straightening out and then kind of going upwards here. It just turns you around. It's a very strange dimension. Wow. Look at, look at these dimensions here and listen to that echo. People will say that this was for stability. These are massive stones here. Really well cut, very big in case of, look at the size of this one here. It's unbelievably big. And it just seems like resonance. It doesn't seem like this is here for stabilization. It's like perfectly acoustic. Look up. All right, I gotta try it. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> All right, next room. Someone blew this up. <sighs> oh, wow. I gotta tell you guys, being here in, on Christmas Day, on top of having no tourists around, just gives you a whole pyramid to yourself. What a crazy experience this is. Can't wait to check out the bent pyramid, but first, let's climb these stairs. <sighs> Time to turn the light on. That doesn't smell good. All right, let's see what this cavity brings us. Come on, this is supposed to be a tomb? My friends, this is one resonance chamber after another. We're deep in the ground at this point. And there's boulders where the bedrock would have been, two different kinds of construction, and we're supposed to believe that this is a tomb? I mean, 
Look at that. Human beings can't even walk down here without added stairs, which was added obviously recently. It's an echo chamber, literally. Incredibly well-tuned acoustically. And they have multiple of these chambers with unbelievable acoustics. This was, like, this wasn't a tomb. <laughs> they found mummies around here, but I haven't seen any evidence that they found any mummies inside. All right, that's the end of the line. I'm heading back out, but just take a look at these acoustics, my friends. You can see the acoustics and you can see Stevie way down there. <laughs> yeah, well, the sound carries perfectly because it's literally an acoustic chamber. I trust the architecture of the building. I don't think I trust these stairs though. Like they move, which sketches me out. <laughs> but as per usual, the ancient architecture tends to be better, <laughs> imagine that, than the modern architecture. Hmm. What does that tell us? That somehow architecture gets worse as time goes by. Hum or something. Hum. Cool. All right, down the rickety staircase I go, ready to climb up that tunnel again. And then off to the Ben Pyramid. All right, so we're about to leave the Ray Pyramid, but it's hard to even have a conversation in here with the echo and what usually is a case, and they haven't found it yet, but I'm sure it's a case because it is with all these acoustic pyramids, is that usually the old Nile, the water would run underneath through a subterranean chamber. And of course, as you might have seen my video in the subterranean chamber of the Great Pyramid of Giza, it fills with water occasionally and is full of salt. Um, you get deep into the ground, the water goes under, it causes a reverberation up to the top of the pyramid where it's concentrated through limestone with granite casing to the top. And what do you do with that next? I don't know, but fizz.org still says to this day that the Great Pyramid of Giza resonates electromagnetic frequency. So what's the deal with that? They say that these were just test pyramids and they made all these mistakes to learn how to create the Great Pyramid of Giza. Why would they do that? What is the evidence of that? And why are they perfectly built in all other ways down to the millimeter, down to the millionth of a millimeter, yet apparently, oh, they messed up and had to start over. It's, it's absurd. Where is the tomb? All I see in here is an acoustics chamber that would be more like that of a machine. Make up your own decisions on that, guys. <laughs> More flint rock like I found all over the place by the Great Pyramid of Giza. Stay tuned for our future video reports on the Bent Pyramid, among countless other incredible ancient sites throughout Egypt, as well as the rest of the world. 
Check the links below. Don't forget to hit the like button, share on social media. Uh, help support us as we report on these places around the world by going to gogetfunding.com, Patreon, and Subscribestar, as well as our PayPal address. We have Bitcoin, and we have a Cointree link below, which allows you to donate in any cryptocurrency you want, generally, including Monero and Pirate Chain. Um, you can find us on BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, and Brighteon, as well as Hive and Steemit. Uh, we're at World Alternative Media. We're on the bad guys, TikTok and Instagram, World Alternative Media, as well as Twitter, World Alt Media. Um, we got deleted off of YouTube generally um, after uh, getting about 155,000 subscribers and putting up thousands and thousands of videos and documentaries. Um, and YouTube still hasn't explained why they've necessarily deleted us and picked on us and discriminated against us, but it has been um, since October of 2020 that we got deleted. So you can still find many of our ancient civilization videos on the YouTube channel, Josh Sigurdsson. But generally speaking, if you want to find our videos, almost all of them will be up on Odyssey as well as on BitChute mainly. We appreciate everyone watching. Check those links below. Join our newsletter at www.iamband.com. You can join our Telegram group, World Alternative Media. And of course, you can check out our affiliate with Richardson Nutritional Center, where you can find Laetrile and vitamin B17, amygdalin, apricot seeds, made famous by the great book by G. Edward Griffin, World Without Cancer, and the work of Dr. Ernst T. Krebs, as well as Dr. John Richardson, amazing supplements and i highly recommend you all go and purchase some off of rncstore.com link below in the affiliate it keeps us alive keeps yourself alive good all around we also have a teespring store with merchandise stay tuned for our upcoming videos on the bent pyramid as well as countless other places around the world i'm running out of breath i'll see you guys later until next time this is josh searson signing out from world alternative media find the truth be the change I'm sure you have already changed people's minds in your young age because you're involved and I like that.